Now we need to calculate the work done in electrical circuit. So we have to just recapitulate that electrical circuit consists of an external resistance uh, cell which produces the external energy source and the internal resistance of the cell and while E is what we call the EMF or the electromotive force. Now this particular term, the electromotive force is nothing, in no way it is a force as we associate a force with Newton's laws of motion or rather it is a push that is provided to the charge to overcome the resistance. So this electromotive force is a force so that it provides a push to the charge to overcome the resistance. Now as we have seen in this whole circuit that the current I is flowing here and we already know from Newton, I mean from Ohm's law that E divided by R plus small r is what is the current and the EMF is what we can calculate as I into capital R plus I into small r. Now if I give a good look at the circuit then I can understand that I into capital R is nothing but the terminal voltage across the external resistance. So that can be termed as capital V. And what is I into R, small r? Well, it is the drop across the battery. That can be termed as small v. So we have two v's here, one capital V and one small v. Now let us get back to the concept of electrical work done. Now I hope you remember that electrical work was defined as charge into potential difference. So now if I have a unit charge, then I can define it as 1 into V. So what we do here actually is a little bit of manipulation. And the manipulation involves the fact that what is EMF? EMF is capital V plus small v. I introduce a charge 1 into capital V plus 1 into small v. So that gives me a work here and a work there. Now these two work actually sums up to give us the EMF. Now that means that the work done in an electrical circuit to make a charge go through the circuit in a full complete term is what we call a e electromotive force and also the work done. So I have a charge here and I take the whole charge to a circuit once. What I perform is a work which is equal to the electromotive force that I require to run the charge to the circuit. Now, as we have already discussed that electromotive force or the work is Q into V, we can replace this Q as I into T. Why? Because I is defined as rate of flow of charge. So, you see, we have Q as I into T. So, that is an expression for electrical work. Again, if I replace this V by I into R, then what I have is I square RT. And then if I replace this I as V, then I have V square by R into T. So all these are forms of electrical work done in a circuit. Now you may ask that in what form we get this work? Well, it's very important for us to understand that this electrical work that we are having as a form of energy, either it is PIT or it is V square by R into T or it is I square RT is all in the form of heat. So all this energy is liberated in the form of heat. So in fact, that is the reason why the conductor gets heated when current flows through it. So when the current flows through it, what happens is the electrons, they continuously collide with the intermolecular particles here, with the ions, and that results to this heat. Or in other way, it is the work done by the electron to overcome the resistance. And that is in the form of heat that is liberated from the conductor. So this is what we have on electrical work done by a circuit and it's finally amounting to the heating effect of current. Thank you students. For testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos log on to www.tubelessons.net